Did you find it yet? Nope. What about now? Nope. Oh, wait, what's this? <laughs> oh, joy! Rapture! He found it! No, I'm not really hurt, actually. <laughs> but, uh, but let me tell you. I... am... dying inside. Be be because... of the last half hour that I spent... Realigning and 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 reprogramming everything to do with this stream. Everything from the camera, the second camera not working, to the stream not connecting to the server, to the tablet not working. So, needless to say, whew, it's uh, it's been an exciting evening. So, all that being said, those bandages that I was wearing were fake, but the struggle is real. And uh, with that said, we are going to uh, get into the swing of things for our 49th episode, Monkey Business. Nothing to do with the... Marilyn Monroe or Marx Brothers film. And apparently the uh, the script the uh, the stream kind of uh, farted. So I would apologize for that, but it's not my fault. Because technology's great except when it isn't. I love me too, Jay. So, uh, let's draw some monkeys, eh? Let's get the music started. Right? Right. Alrighty, alrighty. So, without further displays of incompetence on my part, we shall begin the drawing. 
Oh. Almost forgot. No, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. We're gonna start with I.R. Baboon. Big star of cartoon. thing doesn't work. I swear if one more thing doesn't work there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be hell. There we go. I love when I can't see comments. Okay. And I also want to thank everybody. For... not requesting that I draw Harambe, because quite honestly, I'm sick of Harambe. Happened a long time ago. I could care less about about that whole situation with Stink, uh, which stinks, so I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. The memes are pretty dumb and uh, boring. Don't tell that to uh, Dan Patterson or whatever, whatever his name is. Not that anyone cares. I don't. Know. Now, uh, I.R. Baboon was known for uh, a number of things. Some of them having to do with his bright red ass. <laughs> this isn't uh, your typical uh, Dresden Draws episode thus far. Me uh, cursing and swearing and... There will be uh, none of that on uh, next week's episode. I don't even want to start mentioning next week's episode because it'll... Uh... It'll spoil this one. And we don't want to do that. Because you got to do 49 before you can get to 50. Right? Right. Well, let's see now.
interestingly enough, my father made his, uh, voting debut for, uh, Dresden Draws. So my father is the kind of guy that doesn't care about viral posts on Facebook. He only sees what he wants to see. I guess that's, uh, one advantage of, uh, being an old dog is that you don't have to learn new tricks as quickly. <sighs> Hi, Anthony. If you like this video, share it with your pals. If you don't like this video, go watch cat videos. Don't need pants for the victory dance, cause baboon's better than weasel. I are baboon, big star of cartoon. <laughs> Have fun with that, YouTube copyright police. This is why sometimes you have to rough certain things out, otherwise they won't make sense when you start inking.
No, no, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's gonna be, uh, finger sniffing that, uh, that you're gonna remember about, uh, about this particular incarnation of IR Baboon. Okay. What we got here? All right. Someone I like. Uh. I am Weasel. Soup, you and I gotta talk soon because I have things to share with you. Things that I'm sure you're gonna want to be involved in, but I'm not gonna make it public right now. Because it's still in the very early stages. But uh, things I can talk about right now... Uh, incidentally do involve Lucky Zilla because why wouldn't they? I mean, it's like, look at who you're talking to. It's like, within the last almost five years, my life has become almost exclusively Dresden Draws and Lucky Zilla. Actually, I can forget about that because it's, uh, it's facing away. But, there you go. There it is. And then, of course... Yes.
So yeah, there we go. Yeah. Almost had a heart attack. Uh, I, I almost had an artichoke just now. God, that would have been awful. Imagine. Okay. We gotta do something about the sound here. taken me maybe all of 15 minutes instead took a little bit longer because I was still figuring out the pose but that's that's the art business for you oh and let's uh, put some shine on that ass Did I miss anything Somebody go wake up Kelly Gordon and make sure that he's watching. I need him. He's my foil. Or I'm his foil. Or whatever. And now... We are going to... Uh, pause the music for a moment.
because we have a few brief announcements. First and foremost, we are now booking birthday parties and corporate events, as well as coming out parties, um, transitioning support parties, things of that nature. Uh, any kind of private party that you can think of, I'm willing to do it. For further details and or to reserve, message us or visit us at dresdenmedia.com. There's also a phone number that's um, on screen that that you'll see on the uh, on our draw cam. So moving on, we've got some Lucky Zilla news. Lucky Zilla will be appearing at the Long Island Comic Book Expo on. Sunday, April 14th. Admission is $5. It's at the Old Bethpage Village Restoration. The week after Long Island Comic Book Expo, we're going to be returning to Kids Comic Con in the Bronx at Bronx Community College at uh, Colston Hall. This is Saturday, April 20th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. If admission is free, but there is a $6 suggested donation. And Kids Comic Con really does wonders for uh, the community. Um, it's a great show. I've done it. This is going to be my third time doing it. I highly recommend going. Bring your kids. It's going to be a blast. So, before we get into our next drawing which is King Kong. I know some of you were thinking, oh, you know, I mean, maybe it would have been uh, Curious George, that one. Maybe it would have been uh, Abu from Aladdin. Well, you're wrong. It was a very close race, and Ch Curious George <laughs> didn't even come close. Uh, it was a neck-and-neck -neck battle between uh, Kong, Coconuts, Abu and Grape Ape. Surprisingly, Grape Ape was uh, one of the front runners early on. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then, of course, you know, I had somebody, um, you know, kind of tell me off. Be like, where's Magilla Gorilla? And I'm like, not on this list because Grape Ape is better than Magilla Gorilla. Fight me. I don't care. Your opinion to me only matters when you vote. That's it. Otherwise, you know. Um, so, being that this is a uh, gorilla-themed episode, there was a time, long ago, where my friends filmed themselves doing stupid things. They called it dumbass. You could call it a poor man's version of jackass. Personally, call it whatever you want. I was involved in a little bit of it. But, uh... I look back at this stuff. It's... It's hysterical. I love it. I don't care what anyone says. So, um... You're going to see, uh... Two instances of a sketch from Dumbass. Which was called The Night Creature. Now, the night creature originally was not a gorilla, as you're going to see in the clips. The night creature was originally uh, my friend uh, Nick Delacurdy in a mask, uh, running around in the darkness, banging stuff together and going, Ubera, Ubera! Then they did a, um, years later, a second version of Dumbass. But this time... They, uh, they got Nick a gorilla suit. <laughs> it was hilarious. I mean, I remember when, I, when, when he was trying the thing on. We were on his, uh, his front stoop, and cars would go by. <laughs> he, would, he would immediately get in character and start grunting at them, going, Oh! Oh! I wish I had footage of that. But I don't. In fact, I had to edit this footage a little bit for time, for content, because 
this is not for little kids, the, uh, the original content. And also I had to change some of the music because it wouldn't clear YouTube. So without further ado, we're going to look at some clips of the night creature. I'm Bob Devlin, this is... I'm Nick Delacardi, and this is Hollywood. Woo! That was wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could show you more of it, but... This is Dresden Draws. Not the other thing. So... Put on the music again. Hello, music! Take a nice deep breath. And now, <sighs> we're going to draw Kong. Share my profile again.
No one wants to wake up Kelly. I'm very sad. Very sad and disappointed that Kelly's not here. He provides so much great. So many great antics. is very important. <laughs> Next week I'm going to have some guests, 
so that's going to be a nice thing. Thank you. Uh, I can't see your name. Elgin Flanagan. to do an all-nighter, which is not preferable. I'd rather save my all-nighter energy for uh, next week, which is the 50th episode of Dresden Draws. That's 55-0. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been that many episodes. I haven't done these every week. Uh, initially, that was... Well, the, the plan originally with uh, Dresden Draws, for those of you who are new to the series, was this was going to be a bi-weekly 
uh, request drawing show, and I didn't get a lot of requests, so I decided to make it theme-based to get other people involved. And then I realized that doing it based on a theme was a lot more fun for both myself and the viewers, so I stopped taking requests. You'll notice on some of the earlier episodes that uh, it says some drawings featured herein were requested by viewers. Well, I stopped doing that because, quite honestly, if uh, you want me to draw something for you, that's fine. I can do that, but uh, you're going to be able to. <laughs> That's just the way it is. I'm poor, and this is just about all I do.
So there was a uh, little bit of a trivia question that I asked earlier today on the Lucky Zilla page here on Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can go to Facebook, the, uh, the Lucky Zilla page, luckyzilla.com slash luckyzilla comics, where I asked, try to guess Lucky's alter ego, Bruce Deodato's favorite movie. And among the choices were Godzilla, King of the Monsters, uh, The Wolfman, The Ten Commandments, and Beethoven. So, the answer to that little bit of trivia is The Ten Commandments. Yep. Truth be told, Lucky's favorite movie, Bruce Deodato's favorite movie, is The Ten Commandments, starring Charlton Heston and Ewell Brenner. Released in 1956 by Paramount Pictures, directed by the legendary Cecil B. DeMille. I was watching the 1956 Ten Commandments the other night, um, I didn't get through all of it because, let's face it, it's <laughs> nearly a four-hour movie. No good.
gonna add that later.
long live the king. This is not what I set out to do, but I don't know. I'm kind of digging this. I'm kind of digging this. Yeah. <laughs> so, that being said, I think, uh, I think we're done. So, uh, let's kill the music. Let you, uh, let you guys... Oh, that was very scary what just happened. Oh, anyways... I kill the music? Yes, I did. Things that happen when you do things by yourself. So. Yeah, so, uh, next week, gonna be the same time, uh, same Facebook Live. It is going to be a 50th episode celebration. We've made it to our 50th episode. Joining me will be co hosts Mayhem Mike. And Sebastian Bonet. Sebastian Bonet, you may remember as the artist whose talents grace the cover of Lucky Zilla number 11, which is still very much on sale at luckyzilla.com. Um, we, uh,. I, I'm not going to announce the uh, the nominees just yet. But uh, rest assured, it is going to be probably a very long episode. So uh, brace yourselves for that and uh, make sure you make extra popcorn. Um, I'm only stuttering because... I don't know what I want to tell you now and what I... Yeah. But uh, some other updates. Luckyzilla, of course, is moving along. Um, the uh, the Luckyzilla board game is in production. And pre-orders will be available soon. Uh, most likely around the first week in May. And speaking of Lucky Zilla, he will be appearing at ugh, he will be appearing at the Long Island Comic Book Expo on Sunday, April fourteenth. All the other information you need to know is listed here. Lucky Zilla will also be appearing following the Long Island Comic Book Expo on Saturday, April 20th at Kids Comic Con 
in the Bronx. It'll be our third year at the event. We love Kids Comic Con. We love the Bronx. I mean, some of my family history took place in the Bronx, so why shouldn't I love the Bronx? And as always, we do private parties. Want to book us? Message us? Visit us at DresdenMedia.com or call 516-515-0770. We're happy to cater to most any event. So I think that's really all I have to say other than, you know, the Lucky Zilla board game. Uh, Lucky Zilla the game. Branding. Got to get it right. Lucky Zilla the game is in production. Um, Lucky Zilla number 12 is in production as well. Uh, it's going a little slowly, um, but the, uh, the script is almost finished. And it will be out June 1st at CradleCon. Uh, that is just about everything I have to say. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Dresden Draws. And uh, be here next week for our 50th episode spectacular. Good night, everybody.